Recently, I made a video about how to convert a MIDI file with 16 MIDI channel information to an audio file using Cakewalk by BandLab and the included TTS-1 VST instrument. In that video, I go through step by step how to import the MIDI file, how to set up Cakewalk TTS-1, and if the MIDI file included all of the control codes for all the different instruments for each of the tracks, you'll be able to hear the audio, and then you'll be able to mix it down however you like. But I got comments saying that I did not show how to export it into MP3. I assumed that people knew how to export an audio file from a mixing project. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to export the audio into an MP3 in Cakewalk by BandLab. So here's my MIDI track, as in the last example. And by the way, if you haven't watched it, you can click the link above or the, in the description and watch that video of how I actually get to this stage. And let's have a quick listen. Yes, I did uh, recrawl you as well. Anyway, um, things aside, now that we can hear all the music of all the different instruments, we can also use our mixer, the console, to adjust all of its levels to have an MP3 file of this music. All we need to do is go to File, Export, Audio. Here I'm going to select my desktop, MP3, we can also export WAV or any of the other formats. Here's the MP3 of the entire mix. Sample rate for MP3, I always select 44.1 unless you want to import this MP3 into a video file and most video files use 4800 sample rate. But if it's just for listening, select 44.1 16-bit, deterring is triangular, and then you can type in your name. The name of the song and export. This will ask you what the bit rate of the MP3 would be. For highest rate is 320. You can select enable high pass filter and low pass filter if you like. The quality. You can also encode the ID3 information about the title of the song, the artist. I'll leave that to you and you click OK. And you can see at the top here, it'll do a mix down of the audio. Here, Cakewalk is playing back all of the MIDI notes through the TTS-1 virtual instrument. And then the audio that's coming out is being recorded as an MP3 file, all in the background at four or five times the speed. And that depends on your CPU power. And here, I have the MIDI file running with my Windows Media Player. Rick Roll. I better stop that before I get copyright uh, uh, notice. So that's how you do it. Simple as that. That's basic if you want to change your MIDI into audio. Now, if you want to go further and convert each of the track of instruments into an audio track so that you can mix the audio tracks separately, apply different effects, and then maybe add your own audio, maybe real guitars or real drums or however you like to uh, add to it, well, you can stick around and I will show you two more different steps that you can do.